conference has been on my radar for years. It's the biggest conference in Sweden. It's like the biggest conference in the Nordics. Top five Java conferences in the world. It obviously has a Java focus, but actually it's not limited to that. All of us who survived the pandemic knows that it's important to meet like this because it's important to meet. By yourself, you don't necessarily find all these new things. You can learn from some people and then you can discuss it with peers. What are people actually working on? What are they struggling with? Be exposed to ideas that you might not otherwise run into in your general day job. Such a really good melting pot of, of people who don't just develop in Java, but actually develop the language, creating parts of the ecosystem that people are familiar with. I think a lot of like ideas start at conferences like this. The quality of the talks here is really good. There's world-class speakers uh, coming from all over the world in. There's so much uh, AI focus right now that I think there's some blurring going on of the other topics that are really relative. There's a lot of very big users that are still kind of stuck in old versions. So I'm particularly excited about the new virtual threads. One of the things I'm really interested in is the changes they've been adding to make it easier for people to learn. When you're a speaker, you're not just looking for a good conference, you're looking for good organizers. And here the organizers are really just super friendly and nice to work with. What will happen tonight? There's a party going on, right? Socialize with everyone and catch up with all those people that I haven't seen since last year. I like grassroots events, I like user group style events. You see, in 2008, I think I said I really like that this is a grassroots event. This is not a grassroots event anymore. This is a big event.